So I did find a picture of the dog with the other side. But I gotta do all of his legs. I was getting his head up. Now, of course, it's got to be, you know, it's gonna fit in this, this six by six. Oops, this six by six. And I'm gonna have him standing in there looking out like that is what I think. So I just started doing this one. I think I need to needle down his head a little more. And then I'm gonna add that uh, long white hair that comes out. You know, I've shown you that before. I can never think of the name of it, but we'll get to that. And so now I'm positioning positioning the head on the body. Now, if you you don't get this right, it's hard to turn it afterwards. So we know he's gonna be like that. So I want it all in there real good. And then I'm gonna make his ears black. Just make sure it's, he's in there real good. Now, his head is up like in the picture you know his ears are gonna hang long but I can attach those to the body after the fact I've got to put black on these too so once I get the body all done then I'll do that and he's got a part down the middle of his head here and I think I got his eyes pretty well positioned and his mouth. I think this might be a little too thick, but like I said, I'm gonna put that white fuzzy long fur and knit that in so it curls over. Okay, so I'm gonna work on his chest. chest here. All right, so I'm kind of working backwards because my picture, of course, is the other way. But I do have a picture of what his spots are on the other side. So, we'll see. You know, his neck is kind of long, I think. So it looks like I need more back here. Seems like this batch of wool has a bunch of this little things in it. I need somebody to comb all my wool <laughs> and get it ready for me. This is time consuming. So my deadline's June 27th, so I'm ahead of the game. I got two completed. And I got this one to go, plus the golden retriever. So I think I'm way ahead of schedule. I've been working on, uh, we're gonna do the Kentuck show in Alabama if I get accepted. So I've been working on some inventory for that show. So I'm trying to get this done so I can get back to that. My fantasy is to have a sold out show. So maybe that'll happen. I don't know. Hope springs eternal. Okay, so I suppose, you know, if he is turned a little bit, it could just be his head. Just get that stomach. You know, you see a little bit of shape his hind quarter. I got this in here. I got to get that out of there. Okay, so I'm gonna try to just show you, you know, how I piece this all together. You know, this kind of looks like a poodle right now, but it's not a poodle. His 
neck needs to be a little longer. So I'll push this down, run this up in here. Okay, bend this stuff to your will. been really humid here in Florida. Summer is a rainy time. And uh, it's kind of cloudy today, which is unusual. See how it kind of a little turn this way. And those ears will, should hang. You know, think of the gravity. Now, I'll probably end up poking those into the body to get them to stay because that's what his, per, you know, how they look. They're not stick out ears, they just kind of hang. They're really just fur or hair, actually. Hair on a dog grows, and you have to trim it. Fur on a dog only grows to one length and then they shed it I don't know if you know that so like poodles have hair because you have to cut them I think this dog has hair too because the hair on his, his ear is really only to here and the rest of it is hair So he's got a nice brow that's going to come over. i got to make that come over. You know, and his body's kind of long, so... I don't want his head to be too big for his body. And i got to keep in mind, he's got to fit inside of here. You know? He's got to fit inside of there. That's what he's got to do. So, if I count the heads, if I do tip of nose to the back of his head, that's one. Oh, maybe that's not a good measurement. Let's see. How about if I do it this way? That's how big his head is. One, two, so two heads long. How did I do that? That's one. So maybe he has to be a little longer in the back. I could always curve him so he fits, you know. How a dog will stand kind of curved. And I think he has a, a long tail. So I'll have to put that in. All right, now one good thing about a hairy dog is you're not so concerned about his muscles, you know, you don't have to show that so much. So I don't know, that seems about right to me as far as proportion is concerned. This might be a little too broad because it really hangs down. I'll squeeze this in a little bit. See, that looks a little better, I think. All right, now I got a little indent here, which I want his eye to look recessed. You know, I always say that Oh, 
Yeah. Come on, quite long. So, you know, I'll go back and perfect this. So just get the shapes in here. I'm gonna stick the legs on. I gotta roll those up and get those right. So, I think I'm just gonna eyeball the, the portion for that. And then, you know, you can always cut them off if they're too long. Get in there. Get in there. All right, so. Now I think the back legs, I can do two legs in one. So I'll get this condensed down, knit together. But think about two legs in one, so. All right, you see what I mean? Do this. See, I'm putting a, now he'll have a little black on the bottom of his feet, I do believe. Let me get his ham hock in there. His, uh, let's see, pork chop here. You know, we're just gonna go there. So, not bad. Here to come out. Get off. Now, nice little tip is if you leave all this loose, you have a lot more to knit into. Now, I do know that a dog's back leg goes in, and then there's an elbow, and then it comes back this way. So, seems to me, I gotta make this thicker so that it doesn't look funky. So that's what I'm gonna do. Kinda divide this. You can stand with his legs together in the back. Oh, there goes my needle. It jumped out of my hand. 